And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fortune Aggro. If you kind of think about the Legends of Runeterra metagame right now, when you think about aggro decks, obviously there's burn aggro and there's lots and lots of burn aggro. But what else is there? If I guess if you if you count Demacia, like that mid-range style deck, if you kind of count that as aggro, it it could be. But that's kind of it. It's just basically everybody's kind of playing control in like some uh, way or another. What's up, Rankler? Happy Wednesday. And so I want to get some different, you know, try some different stuff with aggro. Um, you know, we're still going with Noxus and going with a lot of Noxus cards. And we're going to be playing uh, Fortune aggro here, which is named after Misfortune and, and getting a different kind of Misfortune deck in here, not just a uh, put this with Scout and Demacia. Um, Puppy's very camera shy, as you can tell. And and so we've played this Fortune Aggro deck a couple of times before, but it's I'm changing it up. Like, you know, I had uh, Draven as my other champion, and uh, we were a little bit more aggressive. But I kind of determined that since we're playing Bilgewater, along with, with Noxious, because of course Misfortune is Bilgewater, that we should really be playing the busted Bilgewater cards, as I call them. There's five incredibly good Bilgewater cards they just go in any deck, and I think they could go here in the aggro deck and give us a good late game. Um, so we we can have our aggressive elements in our deck, you know, be an aggro deck, but we can still keep up in late games and not just fold if our opponent has, you know, a couple withering rails or whatever. And of course, those five cards are Black Market Merchant, and I didn't have any of these cards in before, but Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Twisted Fate, Yordle Grifter, and Riptide Rex. Those five are just awesome and go in basically every bilge water shell. So I want to try being real aggressive with them. So, you know, Yordle Grifter makes a warning shot. That's that's an extra point of damage. Twisted Fate, you red card, you can do damage upstairs with that. Obviously, Riptide Rex can just finish games out. This card is incredible. Um, and then, you know, we have our Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods that are really good against control decks and help us have more interaction for what our opponents are doing uh, to have the game go a little bit longer and have enough like burn spells and riptide rexes and stuff like that to win the game. So let's give this a try. I haven't, I haven't tried this yet with these new Bilgewater cards in an aggro deck. Let's do it. All right, time. All right, play fortune aggro. Um... Stay on the Jinx board. Let's go with the Noxus sleeves. I like these Noxus sleeves. Oh, I was gonna look at the pets. Somebody, somebody asked about all the different guardians. I am so sorry. Um, earlier, and saying like which one is kind of the best. Um, the minions are really good, man. All right, so I'd, I'd say probably my favorites are like Minion, Basilisk, Powder Monkey, Gromp. Those are probably my four favorites. If I pick a fifth, maybe the... Um, I don't know, both Silverwing and Gloomtooth are like kind of next. But yeah. Yeah, the, the Moonstruck and the Poro are, are the free ones. All right, sorry, sorry about having that on the, the YouTube video. I meant to do that before. Yeah, Grom, Grom's pretty legit. That's a good one. <laughs> I wish you could like see their animations and stuff. But sorry, yeah, a viewer here in, in Twitch asked um, like they wanted to buy a guardian one, my recommendation on which one to get. There you go. All right, we are connecting. So I like triple one drop, and I think we just keep Twisted Fate because Twisted Fate's amazing. And we'll have triple one drop. Maybe I should have mulligan Twisted Fate. Ooh. No one's the wiser. Let 
That was a great turn two card to play. You're welcome, Mr. Cho. You're welcome. Oh, I can't wait. Man, that card is so good. We have that in our deck, right? Yeah, we do. That card's good. I love a taste of the action. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Give me that omen hawk. just don't attack and then you know like they passed priority so I feel like this attack isn't gonna work well for me like they're gonna have like elixir of iron and stuff like that eh, probably attack I guess if I just, I don't know. This game's so hard. Look, I don't want them just to be able to kill these two things for free, but now they're getting the Yordle Grifter and the Noxian Fervor as two things, and I spent three mana. Or if I just let them do the one to everything, then our plunder's turned on for our Butcher and Pilfer goods and stuff like that. Like, this is probably just a bad play. Like, instinctively, I was thinking, well, I want to keep them from killing the two things, but then then thinking about it. So that's fine. Right, it doesn't trigger plunder, it's just them taking damage. Right. Alright, well, whatever. Well, it would have been better to play Omen Hawk, but I'm glad they didn't attack with their 4 3 Overwhelm, and I don't know why they didn't attack with that, but I'm glad. I guess because if they attack with that, then I block with the 2 2, and then it dies to the 3 1 at the beginning of turn. I guess those are good reasons not to attack with that. I suppose. How am I doing 19 damage from here? Did it show the plunder animation? Maybe for them. Maybe that's why, because like they triggered the plunder. Maybe that's why I showed the animation.
new Pilfer Goods animation. So I'd like to play Noxian Guillotine before damage, but the problem with that is then maybe they kill like my Yordle Grifter in response because then they don't want their Swain to die. And I kind of need their Swain to die. So I kind of can't tell them that I have that. bad. Guess I should have done it. Because now I, I can't. I have no chance of beating this 10-12 Sejuani. What really won this game for my opponent was turn to Crimson Disciple. Discipline? Disciple. Turn to Crimson Disciple. That was huge. And then turn three Crimson Disciple. Also very important. But yeah, this thing's over now. I don't have anything to deal with that 10-12. Lots of Tusk Raider today. We were just playing Tusk Raider Sejuani, our last deck. Our next deck that we're playing is Tusk Raider Sejuani. Lots of Tusk, Ra Tusk Raider. Yeah, they sped up, sped up that uh, Pilfer Good animation. Yeah, they realized that everybody was like, "What? Why is this animation so slow?" Lance, You stand on cool, cool shark. Give us some room. I don't want to give them the opportunity to turn on plunder very easily. Yeah, you don't want to class me. That's pretty awesome. Drew a whole bunch of fleeting cards. By snow and stars. Ah, Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. 
auspicious season. If they don't break, they'll burn. Deck looks pretty good. You know, Starlet Seer and Black Market Merchant. Both awesome two drops. card they took with my black market merchant so they really just traded one for one you know the black market merchant traded for the crimson disciple could war fire off warning shot to play the butcher as a 3-3 don't feel like i need to do that Charlotte's here is so awesome. Get that in play. Our Grifter is going to give us another warning shot for the Rex. I'm lucky on hitting with Yordle Grifter so far. It's only like 50-50. We've been hitting with it. Pill for goods. I win. This will be a good winter. Lady Luck is smiling. This twisted fate out of here. Out. Yeah, double Rex. Starting next turn. Um, so let's see, seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to have so I can't play one of my one drops so that's probably gonna be the Legion oh, I can't saboteur wait. that I don't play if I want to have transfusion demolitionist also this doesn't this doesn't like fizz doesn't counter all of them right just the ones that are targeting the fizz Correct. I, could, I think it would disrupt all of the cannon barrages that's targeting Fizz, but probably not all of them overall. For the Empire. That's what I feel like would happen. You 
Yeah, that was Fizz leveling up. Right, make it rains only one one thing. Like there's not three separate make it rains out there. It's just a make it rain targets three separate things. Clear it out. Why are you here? So I'm prioritizing killing Fizz over anything else. If I go the other way, yeah. See, if I go the other way, I do, um, you know, I get to do two damage to them with the Crimson Disciple, and then we would kill this. But I think that with having Rex in hand, we have to kill Fizz, because if we kill the other thing and keep Fizz alive, then whenever I play Rex, everything targets Fizz, and they get to just counter everything. Um, no, I mean the chair is the same height. My my desk, yeah, I, I could I can adjust my desk up and down. Two of them are targeting Fizz. Wow, what? This is perfect targeting, though. Like, kills that, kills that, kills that. This is perfect targeting. Pilfer Goods was the best possible card to have for them, because that stops me from killing Fizz and draws them two cards. Like, how incredible is that? You spend two mana to counter two separate abilities that were both going to kill Fizz and also draw two cards. That is pretty incredible. Um... I don't know. I want to play this Legion's Habit to her first. They could play a Twisted Fate. You have to kill them this turn. Take five, game over.
That should work. We need it. We need them to play another. Yeah, like something else. Yeah, so, something else besides Fizz. And then get enough targets over there. And we did. GG. The Pilfer Good save, save Fizz is awesome. But not as awesome as Riptide Rex. Man, those Riptide Rexes really saved us. <laughs> that's, that's why we're playing two 8-drops. In our aggro deck, because the first one killed three things, and the second one, and then also, you know, was an attacker that killed something else, and then the second one finished the job off. Yeah, it is a great closer. No one drop. Do I Mulligan Grenadier looking for a one drop? That's pretty. The problem is if I Mulligan Grenadier looking for a one drop, but then I, like I'm keeping all three of these. I guess I could Mulligan Misfortune also. Because obviously I really want a one drop with me having the attack turn one. We have nine one drops in the deck. We get three looks now. Hey, that works. We got Misfortune back. No one's the wiser. This will shake up. Yeah. You want a Misfortune deck with her ship? Um. I did, I did make one of those. I didn't necessarily win a ton, but... Let's see. What do I call that deck? Scout uh, mid range. That's right. I tried using the ship. To get misfortunes. That's what I was going for, at least. Um, never see it Oh, sorry, Reeves. <laughs> oh, there's a link. What's he got? Okay, Mystic Shot and Get Excited. Those are probably good cards to have in a burn deck, right? Like, we're not even playing PNZ. We still get Mystic Shot and Get Excited. How about that? I need no weapon. You won't get past me. I don't want to play the other saboteur because of static shock. The dragon approaches. No, yeah, you're, you're probably right, Reese. Reese says, I always feel that whenever I play Misfortune and the ship, it means that I'm going full scout, which means that you're on Demacia, and then at this point, I should drop the ship and abuse Bannerman Demacia for a higher win rate. Yeah, you're kind of right. Kind of how it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. I would like to play all three of these things before attacking. Uh, Static Shock would be a little annoying, but not too bad. for playing everything first. We get a whole lot better attacks. This is a lot of damage coming through. It's 11, put him down to one. And I still have a Legion Saboteur alive. We got this, get excited. We got that thing. Yeah, Yasuo and Swain synergize pretty well together. That's it's probably like the best champion as far as synergy goes with Yasuo. We played a Yasuo Swain deck yesterday. That's up on the YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Transfusion was a great draw. Alright, two and one. See, our Fortune Aggro deck can, can still play a long game with the help of stealing their cards. You know, stealing Mystic Shots and Get Excited. That's not bad. So we get to play... Misfortune with uh, Noxus attack and still get our burn spells. And there we go. There's the Yasuo Swain deck. From yesterday. I'm keeping these three. The one that would maybe be a mulligan is the Twisted Fate. But I think I keep that also. Perfect. Rewarded. So don't really want them to play like Eye of the Dragon, and then I don't get to Let me show you what I can do. attack. Now I wish I would have just played Crimson Disciple. Okay, yeah, they would have played free combat. They would have just killed it anyway. Hey, 
DF? How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. If they have that return card, I'll be really sad. Probably learn what the name of that card is. Hesitation to tell. Yeah, because the return's the second part. What's the first part? Recall, maybe? Nope. That's a different card. Please don't have it. Okay, that's fine. Playing versus Ezreal? No, not Will of Ionia. The, the first half of Return. What's the card name of the card that that creates Return for you? One girl wrecking crew. Retreat. That's the name of that card. Retreat. Man, Vi is so good. Um, I don't know. What do you mean it says out of stock for a reward pawn? Like which which reward are you talking about? Remember the objectives. The donation deck? So are you saying that donation deck says it's 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 temporarily out of stock. Okay. I have I have it set to one per stream, but I I thought that would mean like one per person per stream, and so I don't know if I can change that to be what I actually want. Okay, that should be changed now. I was just gonna kill me. If I have Nocturne Fervor, kill this and kill I can kill Vi. And then I'm all the all of this stuff's gone and I'm just left with these three cards. And they have those four cards. I'm gonna take the aggressive line. I feel like this Vi is gonna kill me though.
We have a killed by. So this card is way too good. If I go straight to attacks and they kill my solitary monk, I'm sad. But if I play the Shadow Assassin... So I want to play Shadow Assassin first, but if I do that, then I don't get to play the Rex. Two Noxus cards in a row. I guess three three Noxus cards in a row, because this turn we drew two Noxus. And that one. Also missed the Allegiance. Missed the Allegiance twice. Completely regret not killing the Vi, even though it would have taken so many different cards. That was just the play I had to make. Two and two now. Where's my axe? And fire! Yes, yes, again. Yeah, the turns are shared. You get to play you each player plays cards each turn. Tide Rex to save me. So five at Vi and only two at Heimerdinger. So I could probably save Heimerdinger.
knew I should have killed Vi when we had the chance. Even if it would have cost me three cards after Vi had already dealt with a couple. That worked. They didn't. They didn't actually have that much stuff. I did not think that was going to work so well. Okay, it didn't work too well. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they gained ten life off the Vi attack the next turn. Alright, two and two. They probably had that, that second uh, Vi was probably chilling in their hand the whole time, so if I would have spent all those cards on the first Vi, they probably just had the second one. Misfortune Brock. I don't know if I've seen those two together too much. Explosives pride. All right, so I could play the Legion rear guard, and they chump block Legion rear guard, but they do just block the Legion rear guard. I feel like. We're trading one for one, but we get the damage in and we get to pilfer for goods. Um. Look at that, we get we get a 2-2 two -two Omen Hawk. So they, they got the other card. So the other card was, yeah, I did like trying to take the, the uh, cards that Omen Hawk pumped up. Also, but the other one was either a champion still on top or they drew it for a turn. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Um, let me see. Okay, yep, I got it, Pawn. Cool. I got gotcha. you. When would you like me to play that pawn? If I played something smaller, I could have. I was gonna gold card it to kill the misfortune. That's interesting. Yeah, we're playing Poros now. Poro burn. Poor old 
burn. So that is a good combination, just challengers with misfortune, you know, pull them into the misfortune trigger. That's pretty cool. Brom's not going to take the damage, though. Scout regeneration. Regeneration's not the best. Keyword to hit. Hmm. For a one one. Yeah, there will be ranked rewards, we just don't really know what they are right now. Snacks. I have one more turn to get this misfortune off the board. How do I get hit scout regeneration also? The strong don't want mercy. How do I hit the same? Send them to the drink. That's Captain Fortune. Oh, I kind of forgot there's a scout. TBH. Oh gosh, I'm just dead. How are they not pulling anything with Braum? Clearing up a spot to play something else. Okay. 
Obviously have to kill Misfortune. Never stop shooting. We were supposed to be the Misfortune deck. All right, so that last game, really like what I did wrong with that last game is I did focus too much on pilfer goods instead of just getting a, a better board position faster and, and winning a race. I did, uh, like that's that's kind of a lesson learned there. Uh, they didn't have like a ton of interaction, neither did I. Um, pilfer goods against the Poros, all I was doing was taking Poros and that didn't really help. <laughs> so I really shouldn't have been playing those pilfer goods on the early turns should have been playing my threats and getting to the board earlier. And uh, yep, that's that's what I learned there. That was that was my bad. I um, yeah, didn't play that one the best. But anyway, uh, fortune aggro pretty sweet. You know, if you want a, a kind of different misfortune aggro deck. I liked how we looked against control decks for the most part, but there's just some champions that are just kind of too good. You know, like, whether it's uh, Vi. It's just basically impossible to kill Vi ever, unless, you know, unless you're playing, like, Ionia to bounce her, and I guess. But, yeah, Vi just uh, ruined us, and um, Hybridinger is really difficult, too. Um, but, yeah, then Pilfer Goods, not good against Poros. Yeah, that's... That was a good counter to, to Pilfer Goods with just a bunch of Poros <laughs> from my opponent there. Fun deck to play. I liked the games. They were, they were, definitely, uh, they were definitely fun to play. But that's our Fortune Aggro deck. All right. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And please leave those comments as well. Keep those questions and comments coming. But thanks so much for watching some Fortune Aggro. And I'll see you for the next video.